Hey guys, welcome to week four. I'm Coach Jamie. I'm Coach Lindsay. And so last week you learned a little bit about some meal prepping and planning. But what happens when your plan gets busted? <laughs> happens a lot. Yeah, it does. And you should expect it. Yeah. So that's what this whole week is about, planning for the unexpected. Mm -hmm. We're going to dabble in uh, like tips that we all use to mm -hmm. quick cook meals, mm -hmm. um, eating out examples, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, everybody has those type of weeks, days, doesn't matter like you're never going to be 100% perfect and yeah. I don't think anybody should expect to be 100% perfect it's kind of like we want to have our plan a mm -hmm. which is you know the shiny the one. Mary uh, meal prep the <laughs> right, Wednesday, right Friday Sunday yeah the, the full month beautiful that month stay, plan that stays in order just yes. how you <laughs> expected it and then all of a sudden like life blows up and you don't know what to do because you only had plan A. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to talk about plan B, plan B. <laughs> and uh, learning how to like uh, just kind of eat the meal mm -hmm. habits quickly. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned last week, you know, mm -hmm. the combinations don't have to make sense. Yeah. Well, th when when the plan gets busted, mm -hmm. that's when you really just need to like fall pick, back on the habits. Yeah, think in that mindset mm -hmm. of like, okay, I need a plant, I need a protein, and. Yeah this might happen. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite threat? I would guess you're, that's kind of how you roll. That is actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm a really good at plan B, very yeah. good at plan B. So actually I, I do think about it and I anticipate on Sundays all of the times I'm not going to have to meal prep. And so <laughs> I, I try to get one meal prepped meal, but if not, I, I automatically think of my plan B's and that's restaurants that I know serve quick and easy um, vegetables with a lean protein. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite in Hattiesburg, Cadoba. I frequent Cadoba knowing they know me by name and face. Um, <laughs> but I know I can get vegetables and protein, get in, get out quickly. Um, yeah. Even some grocery stores, I know I can run in and they have pre made chicken and they have bag salad. Rotisserie ch Rot chicken. Yeah, yep. rotisserie. Rotisserie chicken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're a lifesaver. I don't prefer that and I, I don't necessarily love that but it, it's easy and it's good and I know I'm filling that habit and yeah. it's quick and that's a good point you know we we have strived to like make it apparent that there's no wrong way to mm -hmm. really fill the habits I mean yes there are parameters mm -hmm. like you know common sense type of stuff like let's not eat fried yeah. things and yeah. covered in lots of sauce and stuff <laughs> but when it comes to making your meal habit decisions mm -hmm. and how to fill that it's really just, you know, like you said, like find, find a, if it's find a restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, you just, you make those decisions even if you were like going to the grocery store. Yeah. Like, okay, well, I need a side of a plant mm -hmm. and I need this chicken not to be fried and, yeah. <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. Yeah. One of my favorite things is uh, to go to here in Hattiesburg uh, Salad Station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if I haven't meal prepped, mm -hmm. I can go in there and sometimes <laughs> depending on their hot bar, you can make like multiple meals. It's your grocery store. Situation. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, you can even think of it that way. Like, mm -hmm. Qdoba. Like, if you need several meals, like, yeah. just go ahead and get a bunch bought yeah. and save them for later, for yeah. leftovers. And you didn't have to cook any of them. Mm -hmm. So, there's there's ways to think around mm -hmm. if you don't have time to meal prep or shop. You yeah. know, because there's going to be those things where you essentially, it's kind of like having to wing it, yeah. you know. Um but, you know, if it's not restaurants, then at home, what I do is I always keep, I call them my habitual buys at the grocery store. Yeah. So, there's certain things that you always buy. Yeah. You know, like, I'm always going to have eggs. Always. Always. It's never not going to be in my fridge. Yeah. And if it gets to the point where I don't have eggs, it's things have gotten dire. <laughs> like, things have really oh. blown up. But, you know, there, there's certain things that, like, I'll, I'll just eat, like, scrambled eggs and grapes. Mm -hmm. You know, breakfast. I know yeah, I'll yeah, always yeah. have my breakfast meal yeah. in my house. Yeah. Breakfast is something that is always my go-to no matter mm -hmm. what. I can't, I mean, I can tell you there was a good part of some months that that's what I ate almost Multiple every times a day. day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's another thing, mm -hmm. like, you know, don't be scared to eat the same meals every day. I've had the same thing for breakfast for over three years now. Oh, I don't, Easily. I can't even count. Yeah. My omelet. Yeah. And my sweet potato. But it's and, safe. And I yeah. love it. And it's, and it's so easy, easy to so me easy. now. 
Mm-hmm. Like some people would look at that meal and be like, "There's no way I'd be able to cook it's that." Too I'm intricate. Like, no, it's yeah. like it's it's my go-to. It's autopilot. Yeah. Another good thing to do is to keep things in the freezer, mm-hmm. like seafood. Yeah. Um, shrimp defrost really fast. Mm-hmm. Fish, and they cook mm-hmm. really fast. Yeah. I always keep uh, frozen green beans in the freezer. Mm-hmm. So, you know, frozen veggies are just as good as fresh veggies. Right. Um, and we even talked a little bit about canned veggies versus yeah. fresh veggies. The best vegetable or plant that you'll eat is the one that you're one willing to eat. Really <laughs> or that's available. Yeah. Unless it's fried. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But that that's kind of what this whole week is about. We just mm-hmm. want you to get in a perspective of plan B. I mean, plan A is great. But sometimes you need to think mm-hmm. plan B. Yeah. Or and maybe plan C. And most every restaurant will have some sort of vegetable and some sort of protein, if you yeah. ask. Yeah. And you can set up your kitchen to always have some sort of plant and some sort of Yeah, protein. like an emergency. Yeah, meal. for in your freezer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So make sure you check out all those lessons this mm-hmm. week. Um, they will definitely, definitely help you and save you in those moments when, you know, mm-hmm. things hit the fan. Um, so we hope you enjoy it and you find out, you know, some good little quick tips to do in those emergency situations. And then if you do have something that, you know, you need a, 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 to solve, like a problem to solve, post it on the page, yeah. you know, post it on the community feed. There's the whole community there to help give you ideas mm-hmm. and, um, help you work through some of those icky moments. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll see you for week five next week. Bye guys. Bye.